This is it, guys. Hey everyone, my name is America, and welcome to a brand new and final video on The Mentalist Season 7. Today will be a special Q&A video in which I will answer some of the questions that you beautiful people had for me about the series finale of The Mentalist, including the famous what didn't work section that I didn't include in my last video, but that I will include today. So before I start, I want to thank you guys for all the support and the comments and the likes and the views and, and just just being you. Just being fans like I'm a fan and watching this and enjoying this. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I've had a great time uh, doing these videos and hopefully you will continue to keep watching me as I work on more videos for you guys because I'm, I'm still going to be doing some videos. With that said, let's jump into the what didn't work section of the series finale. So without further ado, this is what was not revealed. Roll the clip! Okay, here's what didn't work for me. The villain. The villain didn't work for me. I was like, hmm, they're bringing some sort of Diet Red John. Oh no. It was not even Diet Red John. It was Red John Zero. That's what the hell that was. So many things were annoying with this character. First of all, weirdly good at what he's doing. Finding, you know, where they are, just being this devious mastermind. But Jane managed to trick him so easily. He was so dumb, so freaking stupid. And I just, I just couldn't believe that for our final, final episode, that's the villain we got? It was, everything was too convenient. Hiding in the trunk, because you know, no one notices when their trunk is open. Especially not on the new model cars that have all these alarms and stuff. Nah, 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 nah. And this guy goes to the courthouse and happens to look at the paperwork where Jane and Lisbon had just written down their stuff. I mean, how smart and lucky is he? There's so many things that didn't work for me with this villain. You know what? I mean, fundamentally, did not like the villain. Did not like the whole, you know, reasoning behind it. Kinda, kinda annoying me. Then we're in the episode in and of itself, because, you know, like, ugh, can we just get over it? But didn't make it better. Not at all. So yeah, yeah. Pastor Merrick was not really happy with that episode. And after having thought about it, after having had time to digest it and reflect upon it, I still feel the same way. <laughs> was not a fan of that villain. And uh, I gotta say, not the best addition in the series finale. But enough about me, let's talk about you because you had some really good questions. So let's jump right into that. First question comes from Avantika S who says, if there was a sentence to sum up the entire show that is The Mentalist with all the seven seasons, everything that has happened, what would it be? There's no such thing as psychics. I still wish I was the last sentence of the series, but you can't have it all. Next question comes from Jess Rocky who asks, what do you think they could have done to this season that could have improved it? I wish they added more tragedy because I feel like while Vega's demise was tragic in its own way, it didn't quite feel as bad as if a big, recurring, long-lasting character had died. I don't know, maybe Cho, maybe Van Pelt or Rigsby. I'm not saying I wanted them to die. I'm just saying it would have been more emotional, you know? Sometimes tragedy makes for really good storytelling. So, there you go. Next question comes from SSTM and Jisbin Ever, who asks, Teresa Lisbon Jane or Teresa Jane? Well, first of all, why are you assuming that she's taking his name? I'm just saying, maybe she's gonna be like, hey, I'm my own woman. I'm keeping my name. Teresa Lisbon it is. Or, twist, <laughs> Jane says, you know what? I'm gonna take your name, Patrick Lisbon, huh? You never know. I'm just saying, it doesn't have to go either way. But good to my head, I would say Teresa J. Next question comes from Christopher Wells, who asks, what do you think Jane and Lisbon will name their child? Well, if they're smart, if it's a boy, Americ. 
If it's a girl, America. Huh? Clever, right? Ana Paola Bragio asks, Who's your favorite character on The Mentalist and your favorite villain? Those are two questions. I will answer them both. My favorite character has to be Patrick Chan. I mean, ultimately, that's who I watch this series for. He's, he's everything. And, you know, Patrick Chan, my favorite character. Like, that's, that's easy. That's easy. My favorite villain is a hard one. Because, hmm, it's not Red John. I mean, yeah, it's weird. Okay, my favorite villain is Red John, but not the one they actually caught. You know, it was Red John up until they caught him. Lilek Sir, I hope I'm saying your name right. If you had to choose one song to represent Jane and Lisbon's relationship and everything they have been through, what would it be? Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far, don't worry, baby. I don't know the rest of the lyrics, and don't have to worry. There is ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no river high enough, ain't no <laughs> Next question comes from Mitch Lay, who says there was no mention of RJ at all. It was such an important part of the show, I felt sad they didn't even mention him. Why, Merrick? Why? You know, RJ, is, is, it's people like you who just can't get over things. I mean, look, Red John is done. I mean, you just gotta let go, man. Gotta let go. Red John, who thinks about him anymore? Huh? Who? Next question comes from Psycho, who asks, where can I get a mental Listo t-shirt? Well, Psycho, you're in luck. Link in the description below. We have a store where you can buy this t-shirt in a multitude of colors. So, please do enjoy. Next question comes from Sufyan Ait Abed, who asks, any series similar to The Mentalist you can suggest, please? So I suggested this a little while back, and I still think it's relevant. Although there's only one season for this show, Endgame on Hulu is an absolutely awesome show. And it's quite frankly the only show that reminds me most about The Mentalist, right? So I would say Endgame, number one. Number two, I would say Sherlock on BBC with Benedict Cumberbatch. Elementary on CBS. I think fits the bill. It's not the same thing, but it is close. Close, yeah. Clever deduction, that kind of stuff. Yeah, you like elementary. I like all those three shows. And the final question goes to Casey Pony, who asks, now that the mentalist is over, single tear rolls down tree. <laughs> Will you begin reviewing another show? Oh, good question. I've been struggling with this because there's a lot of shows that I watch that I enjoy, but I don't necessarily want to review as much. I mean, Elementary is an example of that. I love that show, but do I want to review it on a weekly basis? No, I don't think so. Person of interest, same thing. So it's very difficult for me to find a show that I'm passionate enough to just put myself in front of a camera and talk about it and then spend uh, all this time editing and putting it together for you guys. So for now, the only show for sure that I know that I'm gonna still review is Teen Wolf that I'm reviewing with at So Sandrine. However, yours truly has a weekly column on this channel titled American. It's every Tuesday and it's all about a bunch of different topics and uh, sometimes they're gonna be TV related. Sometimes I'm gonna be talking about life. Sometimes I'm gonna be talking about there's the random randomness of it all. So you never know. Anyways guys, I wish I could have answered more questions. You guys had so many really good questions but Oh, so many hours a day, and I gotta finish this video, and thank you yet again for your wonderful support. Is this the final Mentalist video? Maybe, maybe not. 
Who knows if I have an idea on a mentalist related video, I will certainly let you know. Once more, thank you so much for watching. I will still see you next time. Bye. Ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide enough, baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. Why did I go into French? <laughs>